Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Quarterly Interpretations Committee podcast, discussing activities to support consistent application of IFRS accounting standards. I'm Bruce McKenzie, a member of the International Accounting Standards Board and chair of the IFRS Interpretations Committee. Now, in today's podcast, we'll cover the discussions at the September 2023 meeting at which the committee discussed a new submission relating to IFRS 3 and business combinations and considered feedback on tentative agenda decisions published in March. As always, the meeting papers and a recording of the committee's discussions are available on our website. So let's get started with the new submission. The committee received a request about how an entity accounts for payments to the sellers of a business it had acquired if those payments are contingent on the seller's continued employment during a post-acquisition handover period. Now, the committee had previously discussed a similar question and published an agenda decision on that question in January 2013. Now, evidence gathered by the committee did not indicate diversity in the accounting for these arrangements. Entities currently apply the accounting described in that previous agenda decision and account for such payments as compensation for post-combination services and not as additional consideration for the acquisition. Now, given the lack of diversity, the committee concluded that the matter described in the request did not have a widespread effect. So the committee decided not to add a standard setting project to the work plan and published a tentative agenda decision. Now, stakeholders have got 60 days to comment on the committee's tentative conclusions. Now, let's move on to the finalized agenda decisions. At the September meeting, the committee considered feedback on three tentative agenda decisions published in March. The first agenda decision relates to how an insurer applies the requirements in IFRS 17 and IFRS 9 to premiums receivable from an intermediary. You might remember us discussing this question in a lot of detail in our March podcast. Now, the agenda decision includes explanatory material to help readers apply the requirements to the specific fact pattern. At this meeting, the committee voted to finalize the agenda decision subject to some minor wording changes. The committee also finalized agenda decisions relating to two issues. Firstly, how an entity accounts for employee home ownership plans and employee home loans. And secondly, whether in applying IFRS 9, an entity accounts for a guarantee written over a derivative contract as a financial guarantee contract or as a derivative. Now, all these agenda decisions will be published in October 2023. If at its upcoming meeting, the ISB does not object to their publication. Now, as a reminder, you can catch up on all our previous webcasts as well as the IASB podcasts on our website. And with that, we'll sign off and say thanks very much. Chat to you soon.